folks. How you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website. Link in the description box. Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Putting the healing back in health. Once again, don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, the podcast. Those links are in the description box. Also, when you go to the website, pick up the free download, Setting Goals and Fitness and Nutrition. Coming at you today with, I don't really know what the name of this video is going to be when you actually click on it because I change the names of the video sometimes. But this is going to help you set a schedule and get a routine going. Maybe it's going to be the routine grab bag, right? So we have seven days in a week. All right, now of course, like I said, mind, body, spirit. So what I did here real quick, as you can see, I've got three things. I don't remember which one is which, but one is mind, one is body, and one is spirit. So let me, we'll go with the middle one. So once again, this is something you should be doing every day, something to improve your mind, to improve your body, and to improve your spirit. So this one is my spiritual one right here in the middle. Okay? So we got seven days a week, so I've got seven of these. All right? This one says praying for conversion. I'm a Christian Catholic, so it's praying for people to come to Jesus. I've got praying for friends and family. And I'm going to spend 15 minutes a day on each of these. Lecto Divina, that's a type of Bible reading. I've got pray for the sick and the less fortunate. I've got a rosary. I've got a pray for the church and vocation. And last but not least, I've got one of just sit in silence. Listen to God try to talk to me. You know, that's what my priest says a lot. We as Catholics or Christians, we tend to talk to God a lot, but we never listen. So sometimes we need to sit in silence. So every day... You're going to grab one and set it out, and that's what you're going to do that day for your prayer. Now, of course, there are many other things, especially if you're Catholic. We've got Eucharistic adoration. You can just read the Bible. You can do a divine mercy. At the beginning, though, I would like us to stick with just seven, right? So just seven, and that's what we're going to do. You can create more. Maybe you can change them out monthly. Maybe you find something better. This one is my exercise one, so rest. Day of rest. Legs and shoulder workout, stretching, foam rolling, chest and back, a run, and walk and abs. Once again, select one of those, one of these every single day is what we're going to do. So pick one of those and you're ready to go. So this one is my mind, right? I've got seven of these as well. So read. Podcasts, so that would be a day of just listening to podcasts, TV or YouTube. Write. Formed, that's a form of Catholic uh, Netflix, so I have that in there. Another one for writing, and another one for reading, just because that's the most important things we need to be doing. Uh, and TV and YouTube, for me, I would say you want to try and listen or watch something that of course is educational but if not you know that's a slack off day I know I slack off a lot on those days so you're gonna pick one of each and that's what you're gonna do that day and then I have this one for me daily I need to be food prepping and daily I need to be posting to social media Facebook YouTube and everything like that for the people that are fans of the channel and stuff so there you go. You know, I put the, the post to social media and the Facebook and uh, food prep right when I get home from work. So I'll do that right when I walk in. I like to pray in the morning. So I'll pray in the morning. Um, I'll work out after I food prep and that or either before. And then this one, which was uh, mine. So I'll do that one. And once again, there might be other things that you want to do daily guaranteed that you need to do food prep and posting to your social media, whatever it is. But once again, like I said, once you pull it out, you set it aside, set it underneath until the end of the week, then you put them back in there. Another neat thing you can probably do is just buy some plain jars or bowls, and you can decorate them. You can do that as a family. You can decorate them. You know, have one of these for 
you, you, that your husband or wife's going to do, your children are going to do, and make it fun. But every morning when you get up, just pull one out of each. That's your plan for the day. All right, so there you go. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. The podcast is out there. Those links are in the description box. The daily routine grab bag. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share and like these videos.